I'm going to show you how to use Corel Draw 2018 to freehand draw a heart with snail that is commonly used in mowing designs. We're going to start by coming up here to the left hand side and selecting the pen tool. And make sure you select pen. We're going to start with a point and then we're going to draw that up about 45 degrees. I'm going to use the wheel to scroll in start that first curve and we want that to be horizontal we're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing and make that horizontal and don't worry about it if it's not perfect we're going to come back and clean that up okay a little bit right there and do this right here And of course my curves are not perfect so don't don't worry about making it perfect okay and then I'm gonna press enter and end it I'm gonna come up here select the shape tool and I'm going to make my adjustments to clean it up I can stretch it there clean up some of these points and of course if it does something I don't want to I just undo it can also double click and delete it to kind of clean up that curve and then I can double click to add a new point in there as well so here we go again double click double click put in a new point and clean that up And I'm not going to worry too much about making this perfect. So notice that at the beginning we didn't worry too much about um, making it perfect. You can always come back and clean it up. Okay. This point's a little bit low, so I want to bring it up because here's my center line here. And now this is half of my heart. I'm going to come up here and copy. I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to mirror that new object. And now I have two. I'm going to click right here on this node and connect that node right there. Okay. So I snap to it. Here's my basic shape. I'm going to select both of them and I could either weld it together or right click and combine. Um, I don't want to group it. I want to make sure that they become one layer. So I'm going to click that, combine it. Now, even though it's one layer, uh, where they're touching is still two separate points. So two ways I could connect these. The quick way is just to grab it, move it, and then bring it back, and it'll connect it. Um, another way to quickly do that is to select both of them, right-click, and select Join and that's going to join that into one node. Okay, now that I have my basic shape, um, if we were to use this design in a, a Cricut cutter or a laser cutter, it's just going to cut this line out. So we want it to have a little bit of form. And in order to do that, we're going to use a tool called the, um, the Contour tool. It's found in Effects. I'm going to click on Effects, go to Contour. It's going to give me a pop-up window. And while my uh, design is selected, I'm going to go in here and adjust some settings. So if I want my uh, lines, to, my shape to end in corners, I'm going to select that one. But for our purposes, um, we're going to want that to be curved. Here's also the distance from the line. And if I apply it, then that red line kind of traces and follows it. Now, the contour is just following those lines so if I were to take this node here and move it it's still gonna follow it okay so it's not a separate um, set of lines by itself I'm gonna undo that so I want those to become separate shapes so I'm going to make sure I right click 
right on. Oh, sorry, need to use the correct tool. I'm going to right click right on the red lines and it's going to give me a break contour group apart option. Notice you don't have that if you selected the uh, black line. You can't separate it. So I'm going to go to the red line. Click, break it apart. Now these have been broken apart and they are two separate shapes. I take that shape, move it out, and I leave this shape here. And then of course I can color it in. And here's that shape. Now let me show you what this tool does. If I select this, I can make another one. And let's say I make that really big. It's going to thicken that line. See that? And if it thickens it to where it touches, then it's going to weld it together. And so that may not be what you want it to do. So we can go in here and again adjust it, apply, and see if that's what we want. Okay, so here's our shape. Um, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to separate it. Remember, separating it is going to require us to right click on the red lines, break it apart. And then I'm going to zoom out. It's working. And then move that line away. Okay, there you have it.